Hello everyone, my name is Shashank Shekhar. We are presenting solutions for J Advanced 2019, paper 1. Uh, the question for this video is taken from the chapter Application of Derivative, as in the paper. Let's have a look at the problem. Let f r to r be given by fx is equal to yeah, um, x raised power 5 plus 5, x raised power 4 plus 10, x cube plus 10, x square plus 3x plus 1. It looks like the opening of yeah x plus 1 whole raised to the power 5, isn't it? 5c1, 5c2, 10 is 5c2 now. But the one term, the term coefficient of x is like uh, creating problem. If, if it would have been 5x, then it is directly the opening of x plus 1 whole raised to the power 5. So we can, however, write it as x plus 1 whole raised to the power 5 minus 2x. 3x can be written as 5x minus 2x. Let's see how can we take help of uh, this thing here. For x less than 0, it, is, it was defined as this. For x 0 to 0 close to 1 open x, it is x square minus x plus 1. For 1 close to 3, it is 2 by 3 x cube minus 4 x square plus 7 x minus 8 by 3. And for x greater than equal to 3, it is x minus 2 log of x minus 2 the base e minus x plus 10 by 3. In which of the following options is are correct. Option A, f is increasing in minus infinity to 0. f dash has a local maximum at x equal to 1. So we need to check f double dash also. Because in order to check the points of local maximum minima of some function, we need to find its first derivative. So the derivative of f dash would be f double dash. Na? So we need to go to f double dash, up to f double dash. f is on to so option C. So whether the range is R or not, because the codomain given is R. So you need to check that f dash is not differentiable at x will 1. Okay. So this will also be, uh, I mean, uh, retrieve using the second derivative, value of second derivative, values of second derivative. Let's see how can we solve this question. Uh, okay, the question looks lengthy, but I'll try to make easy for you. Let's see. So fx is this, so uh, I mean um, if you write 3x as 5x minus 2x and uh, by taking 5x f dash can be written as 5 because it is x plus 1 whole raised power 5 minus 2x derivative is 5x x plus 1 whole raised power 4 minus 2 x less than 0 yeah for 0 to 1 it is 2x minus 1 we are, we are not applying equality over over here i mean at 0 we'll check it first at 0 in the left of 0 at 0 minus i mean the value is 5 minus 2 that is 3 in the right it is minus 1 so they're not matching so we should not apply equality here we cannot carry 0 uh, equality here as was given in fx because obviously here the function fx would be not differentiable at x equal to 0. So we cannot take 0 in the domain of f dash. Isn't it? Next is uh, third piece, I mean third interval. Uh, it is uh, 2x square. 2x square. Yeah. Minus 8x plus 7 and at uh, 1 minus uh, the value is um, 2 minus 1 1 and 1 plus it is 2 plus 7 9 minus 8 1 so at 1 it is differentiable so it's like this and uh, for x greater than 3 we need to differentiate x minus 2 law ln of x minus 2 so it would be x minus 2 into 1 by x minus 2 is 1 and minus x derivative is minus 1 got cancelled and one more part will come as ln of uh, okay so log x minus 2 to the base e the final derivative for the last part and x uh, at x equal to 3 it is 0 at x equal to 3 the above part is uh, 9 uh, into 2 18 plus 7 is uh, 25 minus 24 is 1 so I mean x greater than 3 we can write we should not carry 3 here also equality sign 
because at three, um, yeah, uh, the at three minus and at three plus the values are different, right? So now um, we can say now coming to the option option a, f is increasing in minus infinity to zero. So uh, is it increasing in the first part? So we can easily see that the first derivative, uh, I mean, uh, derivative in the first interval minus infinity to zero is not always positive or not always negative. So this part, I mean, is not always positive. So f dash is changing sign from minus infinity to zero. It may be negative, may be positive, can change sign. in in minus infinity to zero so we can say that the option a is not correct right it is not always increasing uh, always positive f dash was not always positive f is on to f dash has local maxima f dash is not differentiable at x value one so let's see uh yeah f is differentiable at x value one but when you find f dash now so um f uh, double dash one minus would be uh two however f double dash one plus would be four into one minus eight that is minus four so it is uh, they're not matching right so f double dash i mean uh, f dash is not differentiable because the lsd for f dash is 2 and rsd for f double uh, f dash is minus 4 so lsd is not equal to rsd f dash x function is not differentiable at x equal to 1 and again from here we can easily see that the change of sign of the derivative of f dash that is f double dash the change of sign of f double dash from the left of one to the right of one is positive to negative so it must be there there would be a sharp s as far as the graph of f dash is concerned there will be a sharp s function f dash is not differentiable at zero one but it will show a point of local maxima at zero one because in the left of one it is positive in the right lsd is positive rsd is um yeah uh negative uh right at x0 1 f dash was continuous but f dash is not differentiable there would be a sharp corner the point of local maxima at x0 1 coming back to the options option b would be correct f dash has a local maximum at x1 1 f dash is not differentiable at x1 1 I think I understand. Uh, I mean, uh, clearly described it. Yeah, and coming to the option C, F is on to. Yeah. So what uh, we can say about the range of F X? Is it R or not? Okay. The major part of the values of Y is coming from the first and the fourth intervals. If you observe. Um, in the fourth interval, like uh, for x greater than equal to three, the derivative is always positive. Log of x minus two to the base e e is more than one. Base is more than one. And for x greater than three, yeah. Log of x minus two is always more than log one, means more than zero. So this part is increasing right so in this part the range would be just by putting x value 3 here it will give you 0 and here from here you will give you'll get uh, minus 3 plus 10 by 3 that is 1 by 3 so in this part we can see that uh, y is from minus 3 plus 10 by 3 is minus 3 plus 10 by 3 1 by 3 to infinity and in the first part 
we can see as function however is not strictly increasing fx but by intermediate value property as it is a an odd degree polynomial at minus infinity the value is minus infinity i am just saying the end points at 0 the value is 1 isn't it so i mean the minimum i mean uh, the values uh, we can say by intermediate value property fx will take all values between f a and f b so all values between minus infinity to 1 that is to be sure at least once however it will take uh, in this case if you closely observe it few more values apart from this interval but this is to be sure that minimum it is taking from minus infinity to 1 from these two only we can say that the union of these two intervals of what y is taking here is r is minus infinity to infinity there is some in, uh, overlapping from 1 by 3 to 1 but the range from here we can clearly say that the range of y range is minus infinity to infinity that is to be sure coming back to the option option c must be correct f must be on to because the codomain is also i mean range r then function is on to i hope you understood the solution you may go through the typed uh, so b c d were correct typed solution also uh, is there you can go through it uh, yeah stay tuned for the next question thank you